it's your boy Ross back here again with another video. The first video of the new year, first video of 2022, man. Hopefully you guys had an amazing new year, had opportunity to spend time with your family and friends, and uh, we're right back at work, man. We're right back on the grind, road to uh, 70K and ultimately 100K on this channel. But we're gonna be talking about my preview and predictions for wwe day one and i got special news for you guys i convinced dub to actually watch uh the pay-per-view we're gonna do a live stream reaction on the main page so i'm gonna link down the live stream it's already set up now so i'm gonna link it down as the uh the top comment my opinion as the top comment in this video but i convinced him to actually check it out originally he didn't want to check it out because he knew Roman and Brock was gonna have another match, so he he was he was not interested for like a whole month. He was not interested, and it was gonna end up being on this channel, my personal page, and then we were probably gonna check out the Royal Rumble later on this uh, this month. But I convinced him, and finally he agreed to it. So we will be checking it out. We'll be doing a live stream reactions. There go Blondie in the back. We're gonna be doing a live stream reactions on the main page. So I'm gonna pin down the link as the first comment uh in this video so you can join us there we'll have a good time and it's gonna be it's gonna be the first live stream of the new year so i can't wait to see you all in the chat and we just have a good time for this pay-per-view but i'm gonna get my preview and predictions work my way through the card and and we're gonna go from there so let's get right into this so the kickoff show is cesaro and ricochet versus sheamus and ridge holland uh, I don't know too much of Ridge Holland. I've been seeing him, uh, you know, align himself with Sheamus, you know, whatnot. But me personally, honestly, I, I, I don't care about this match because it's on the kickoff show. Uh, it'll probably be a solid match. Uh, I don't even think we're probably going to be watching it. We'll probably still be setting up uh, the stream, uh, make sure everything's good. But I'm going to probably go with Sheamus and Ridge Holland only because, you know, they're trying to, you know, get over Ridge Holland as a Sheamus companion and when it comes to Cesaro and Ricochet it don't really matter them taking a loss is nothing new you know some of the best these two guys are if not one of the best one of the, in ring talent wise they're like some of the best in the company and you know they're relegated to pre-show uh pre-show fodder man and it, it sucks kick off fodder like they're very talented Wish they would be, you know, utilizing bigger segments, but they're not. So I don't, I don't see them winning. So that's just my view on that. I think Sheamus and Ridge Holland will win. Next one, Drew McIntyre versus Madcap Moss. Didn't even know this was a thing. Hadn't really been paying attention. I know they're trying to build up Drew um, some more on SmackDown, but uh, I think I'll give it to Drew McIntyre only because of what they're trying to do. What are the, the reports is having him be inserted in the main event at WrestleMania on the SmackDown side of things. So we want to keep him strong. So, and to be honest with you, he's like one of the only other people on SmackDown that's like, like a notable competitor for Roman Reigns Universal Championship. So you need all the strong people you can get on the roster. So I can see Drew McIntyre winning. Raw Tag Team Championships, RK Bro versus the Street Profits. RK Bro is a high theme, of, especially on the tag team side of things for uh, Raw. So I'm gonna go with them. I'm only I'm gonna go with them. I can see them um, retaining the championships. So uh, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with them on that one. In my personal opinion, I think they will retain and uh, continue what they got going on until the inevitable split. I don't know who will turn heel on heel, but. You, you know it's going to come at some point. So, uh, SmackDown Town Team Championships. Uh, the Usos versus The New Day. Uh, I think The Usos are going to retain. The Usos are going to retain. The only time I see The Usos losing is when we start seeing real cracks into the bloodline. Like, you know, real cracks starting to appear and that's when we can start seeing maybe Roman potentially losing the titles but uh I do think they're gonna retain um New Day is cool they 
this is a match we've seen a thousand times over, but I do think they will put on a good match. Just like we've seen the Hardys versus Edge and Christians a thousand times, they usually put on a good match. So I'm expecting out of the two tag team matches, I'm expecting this to be the better match in my opinion, but I could be, I could be wrong. Edge versus The Miz. I think I'm, it depends. It depends if they're really going to extend this feud because I honestly want this to be a one and done match. I'm just be honest with you. It was an interesting promo when they started it off. I've been, you know, keeping up with the segments and stuff, and it's it's cool. But at the same time, I'm not really that invested because it's a Miz. I would have loved for him to face somebody more noticeable or like somebody that I actually really care about more on the main roster. So if it's a one and done, then I think Edge to win. But if they're going to continue the feud, which I can see them doing, I hope they don't. If they continue the feud, then the Miz will win. I mean, I, that's just how I'm, I'm picturing it in my head. So if it's a one and done match, it, it still kind of defeats the purpose because I still got to choose. Um, I think they're going to probably continue the feud because WWE is lazy. So I think the Miz will win this match. But of, of course, not clean. He's going to cheat to win, but I think he will win this match. All right, Raw Women's Championship. Becky Lynch versus Liv Morgan. Liv Morgan is uh, pretty over. People love Liv Morgan. They want to see her as champ. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, This may be a, a, a big, big, uh, big assumption here. Maybe be a, a, a bit of a twist uh, in my booking decisions here or thinking of uh, where they would go booking-wise. I think per first pay-per-view of the year, maybe give some type of shocking finish, shocking, like, you know, match ending. I'm going to say Liv Morgan wins, gets the upset. I know a lot of people would probably be like, oh, I don't know, they probably not gonna pull the trigger on her but i think what will work is if they actually do it if they actually pull the trigger i don't think you know what i'm saying they'll they can extend this feud all the way to wrestlemania because i don't trust them with long-term booking especially a women like championship storylines i don't see that happening so i think i think they'll probably give uh Liv morgan the win here She'll probably hold the championship for a little bit. Not, she probably won't have a lengthy title reign, and then they, I can see them putting it back on Becky. So I do think Liv Morgan will win here, man. So that's my opinion on that one. All right, the WWE Championship: Big E versus Seth Rollins versus Kevin Owens versus Bobby Lashley. This match I actually am looking forward to more than a Universal Championship match, only because I think this match is going to be fucking fantastic. I think it's just going to be a car wreck of just craziness. Um, I want Biggie to retain. I actually do. I just, to be honest with you, I don't see Biggie retaining. I don't. I want him to. I think his title run has been okay, but I don't see him retaining. If he does, I would be, you know, pleasantly surprised. That would be a big win for him, but I don't see him retaining. Um... The way they've been booking Bobby Lashley, they've been booking him more like a face. So, I don't think they're going to put the championship back on him again so soon. I do, and I don't think Kevin Owens will win it. I think they may put it on Seth, bro. I think they will put it on Seth Rollins. I think they will. So, I think Seth will win it. I think so. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and say Seth uh, will win the championship. If he doesn't and Big E retain, that's awesome. I just, I don't trust WWE to have Big E come out looking strong in this situation because he's been looking okay in his feuds. But for me, it's just, as me thinking of the, the WWE champion, I just feel like, you know, they should really have booked him a little bit more stronger. He's been okay, you know, in certain spots, but I just haven't really felt like Big E is that important imposing of a threat like he should be so i will say seth rollins will be the new wwe champion i can see that happening so and of course the main event universal championship roman reigns versus brock lesnar um roman's 
retaining. And you want to know what's funny? Dub was not really not wanting to watch this live stream. I don't think he's still as excited only because he just has a, a horrible feeling <laughs> that Brock is going to win. I don't think Brock is winning. Roman is going to retain. It's going to be some... And it sucks because I don't think it's going to be clean. Obviously, they want to continue this feud. This has been reports. They want to continue this on the WrestleMania, which are they going to do. So he's not going to win clean. There's going to be some trickery. And uh, a lot of people are thinking that Paul may be doing a may do a double turn, like turn on Brock because you may think he's aligned with Brock, but he's really not. So I can see that happening, but it's not going to be a clean win. I can tell you that now. Roman's not getting a clean win over him which sucks i i think you really you don't you're not putting justice to his title reign if you don't give him a clean win because he's beating people legitimate individuals clean and he's used heel tactics as well so i like a champion that can do both and for whatever reason he can't get the job done with brock he has to cheat with brock that's that's the only thing I, i'm not a big fan of if you're gonna have this guy have this amazing record this amazing title run you gotta have him beat the guy that's always been giving him a problem for all these years clean that's that's all i care about but it doesn't look like they're setting it up that way but i do see him retaining the championship that's just my personal opinion on it i don't i don't think he's about to drop the belt uh not not any time before WrestleMania, he's not dropping the, trap, the, the strap. It just, it just doesn't make sense. So, yeah, I think he will retain. Uh, I'm still looking forward to the WWE Championship more than the Universal Championship. But I do think this will be a solid match. So, comment down below. Let me know what are your predictions of uh, tonight's show, WWE Day 1. Who you think is going to win? Who you think is going to lose? Why and why not? Um... I want to start a discussion, man. We, we This is one of the ways to get ourselves hyped up uh, about this pay-per-view. And just I want to see where y'all uh, y'all mind is at on WWE's potential booking. And do you think this is going to be a good show? Or do you think this is going to be like a, a, a run-of-a-mill pay-per-view, a C-level pay-per-view at best? I'm hoping it's going to be good. You want to start off the year good, so I hope they do pull out the stops because the last pay-per-view they had, um, was kind of lackluster so i i really need them to pull out the stops to really get this year started off right so comment down below let me know appreciate all your love and support man we're running it up in 2022 i appreciate y'all kicking it with me and i'll see y'all on the next one peace